Exploring the world of gender in English nouns and pronouns. Hello, English learners. Today, we're going to embark on an interesting linguistic journey where we explore the world of gender in English nouns and pronouns. This is a fundamental part of understanding the grammar and the structure of the English language. So, let's dive right in. When we talk about gender and language, we're not necessarily referring to the biological or societal gender of a person. Instead, we are discussing the way words are classified in a language. In some languages, every noun has a gender. For instance, in French, a chair, la chaise, is feminine, while a book, le livre, is masculine. In English, however, Gender is usually only relevant to pronouns, words like he, she, and they, and to a few nouns that specifically refer to male or female entities, e.g., actor, actress, waiter, waitress. It's less pervasive than in some other languages, but it's still an important concept to understand. In English, we have three types of genders, masculine, feminine, and neuter. Masculine nouns or pronouns are usually used when referring to male entities, such as he, for a man, or boy, for a young male. Feminine ones are used for female entities, like she, for a woman, or girl, for a young female. However, we also have the neuter gender, which doesn't have a specific male or female association. This is used for things without a biological sex or when the gender is unknown. It is a common example of a neuter pronoun in English. We might use it to refer to a book, a car, or an animal where the gender isn't mentioned. Now that you understand the basic categories, it's important to learn how to apply them. English speakers typically use gender-specific pronouns in reference to people and animals when the gender is known. So if we know a dog is male, we might say, he is a good dog, and if we know a cat is female, we could say, she is a playful cat. For inanimate objects and when the gender is unknown or not relevant, we use neuter pronouns. For example, you'd say, the book, it is very interesting. One special case in English is when referring to a group of people or to someone whose gender you don't know or who prefers not to specify a traditional gender. In these cases, we use they, as in, the student, they are working hard, or, the committee has made their decision. And there you have it, the basics of gender in English nouns and pronouns. We hope this has shed some light on how to navigate these tricky waters. It might take some practice, but don't worry, with time, using these genders will become second nature. Thanks for watching, keep practicing, and we'll see you in our next lesson. Happy learning!